Yasas from Greece! I'm Ria with Outdoor Japan and today we're here to explore the off the beaten path spots of the Aegean outdoors. Our first stop is Athens, the capital of Greece and classical history. While the famous landmarks like the Acropolis are a must-visit, fighting the crowds can get tiring, so we took a detour to explore behind the scenes. From the hills of Athens like Lycabetus and Panica, I could enjoy views of the great city from a quieter perspective and get a glimpse into the local life, and I even got to crash a big fat Greek wedding. Escape the touristy side of Acropolis at Anafiotika, a historical neighborhood tucked in the northeastern side of Acropolis Hill. Here, you'll find Cycladic architecture and delicious Greek home-cooked meals. We then took a ferry to Instagram Heaven, the island of Santorini, which attracts 2 million visitors annually. With more and more people traveling the world today than ever before, it's become crucial to appreciate and take part in sustainable tourism. An hour away by ferry is the isolated Polegandros, a hidden gem home to only 700 residents. This sleepy island has no airport or major ports for cruise ships. I stayed in Hora, the main hub where you can walk up a zigzag trail up to the island's iconic church. During the 1930s when Greece was under dictatorial rule, exiles settled on this island, taming rugged soil and braving minimal rainfall and harsh winds by building terraced farmland lined with strong stone walls. Within the rocky terrain are trails leading to beaches, windmills, and one-room churches. Polegandros may only span 32 square kilometers, but there's still plenty to explore along the coast where I had beaches, snorkel spots, and caves all to myself. Being brought up in Greece, we saw that this country has a lot of other things to offer than the standard uh, recipe, let's say, of just the sea and the sun and the beaches. Most of the people know Greece about its popular destinations. We always try to show also the non-touristy side of Greece to places that sometimes even the locals themselves, even the Greeks themselves haven't seen or are not aware of, and we can hike sea kayak, river rafting, whitewater rafting. I love being outdoors. I love sharing that enthusiasm about being outdoors. 